Hi everybody, it's Vanessa Victor and welcome to My Dyslexic Life. Today I wanted to talk a little bit more about just how our visual mind works and actually how we can use our visual mind for helping us to get things done. Last week I talked about how hard it is for us to know where to start or we just see a job as completed, as the whole thing. And we find it really hard to know where to start the task or the project, and then to be able to see all the little steps in order that are needed to finish it. And this shows up in our life as trouble with prioritization and um, trouble with planning. So this week I wanted to dive a little bit more into actually what's happening. So we have this ability to see the end, yeah, the whole completed project. Um, and what that means is we actually need that picture to be really clear. And I really noticed this in myself this week when um, I, we were planning out something for, um, for the business that I'm in. And, you know, I was like, I just can't see it. I'm really struggling with this. And I was feeling really confused. And what you tend to find is as soon as you don't have that really clear picture of the end, you just start getting really confused. And as a dyslexic, for us, confusion is a state that can make us feel quite stressed because we have spent a lot of our time confused before. And what I noticed is I was asking for more details. So I'm kind of like nitpicking on these tiny little things that for, uh, for other people, they kind of say, well, don't worry about that just now. You know, we don't know how that's going to look. But for me, I really needed those little details so that I could build the picture um, internally. So then I could see what it was that we were aiming towards. And I was thinking about this on the weekend, actually, because if you watched my last video, you'll, as I said, you'll know that I had all these boxes that hadn't been unpacked. So instead of focusing on, oh, I need to unpack all these boxes, I focused on what is the cabinet going to look like when everything is unpacked and in it. And that made it much easier to just get on with unpacking the boxes. So I really focused on that complete end picture. I'll be able to sit on the couch. I'll be able to look at the cabinet. It'll have all the lovely bits and pieces in. The sun will come in. It'll look really lovely. And over in that corner of the room, there won't be a pile of boxes anymore. But I had that really clear end picture of what it was going to look like. And what I realized is when I don't have that, then I get really bogged down in the details. So I keep asking these questions, but what's that going to look like? And what's that going to do? And if you take that step, where will that take you? And I was kind of asking and asking and asking for more details all the time. And it reminds me of, of a few years ago when I was with a very good friend of mine and he always used to say, oh, I know you need the details because he would start telling me something and then I'd be like, yeah, but, but what does that bit look like? And yeah, but then what's going to happen next? And it became a real joke between us because he would be like, oh, I know, I know you want the details. <laughs> and um, those details are for me to build that picture. So can you imagine if I said, okay, we're going to draw an animal, draw four legs. What happens? You're immediately like, but what's the head? How big is it? Is it small? Is it large? Um, is it going to, um, you know, be a lion? Is it going to be an elephant? Is it going to be a cat? Can you see you need more information? 
And for us as dyslexics, this is even more important. I realize if you asked anybody that question, it would be natural for anybody to say, oh, okay, so what am I drawing? But for us, we kind of need to see the whole end picture in kind of and where it fits in for us to be able to start the journey. And that can be whether you're doing something at work, whether you're doing a project at home, whether you're trying to plan something. And I guess I just wanted to talk about how much we need those little details. And all you're doing is actually clarifying your picture. And then once you have enough details and you can build that picture, then you can actually use that to help you stay on task. And if you visualize the end result, think about the end result, you will find it much easier to get that project, task, whatever it is done. So, I, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. And um, it was just a, a realization I had again in the week. As I said, when I kept asking questions and I could see that maybe the other person was getting a little bit frustrated. But I just really needed to get enough information to build my picture. And that's just something to remember about yourself, is that you actually do need that visual guidance. And sometimes you are going to have to ask questions so that you can get enough details for you to build your own picture. So I hope you guys are all having a good week and I will see you again next week. Bye.